Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I was speaking to the dwarves today and I have some information for you about the race of dwarves on earth. More than anything else, the dwarves want gold and they pester humankind to get their gold from them. The dwarves are responsible for the notion of capitalism and the notion of one-upmanship. It is they who have um, sponsored the newospheric thread of energy that sounds to me like phrases using the word, the quaint term, booty hole. Um, last year or so, the phrase was used in a very aggressive manner, what you would think of as hostile takeover in business terms, um, intention to, to injure human beings, to take from them their health, their wealth, their homes, their pets, their family, anything, anything that could be taken, if that could be turned into gold. Um, then the elves stepped in. Now the elves have an uneasy alliance, apparently, with the dwarves. Um, I've talked to some elves yesterday about it, some that are living nearby, small troop, and asked them uh, what was the state of agreement between the dwarves and the elves. And they said that they get along pretty well, unless the elves get uh, angry about something, and that was what they said. Elves are pretty easy going. It would take a lot, I think, to get them riled. Um, so, but anyway, apparently the, the elves have um, offered a mitigating energy with regard to this I will booty hole you thing that's been going on, on the, in the newosphere in recent years. They, they have a sense of delight and mischief and like that. And so the energy of that statement by the dwarves has changed to something much more playful, much more fun and like that. That's a good thing for the newosphere. All right, now to get down to this morning's channeling. One thing to say when the dwarves start to threaten us is this. You say this to the dwarves. You can only have what you have and no more. Say it in a, in a firm but unemotional voice, okay? You can only have what you have and no more. Like that. So I tried that this morning after trying many other things that didn't work. And then I heard, like from far off, maybe subterranean or deep down, or far off, I heard like a tally going on. They were trying to figure out how to increase in me a sense of insecurity uh, in my basal chakra. That's that booty hole thing, you know, that they were talking about. The booty hole thing is an attempt to weaken our basal chakra, which is responsible for abundance and retaining wealth and that kind of thing, um, retaining our possessions, retaining our health, um, good luck in the world, like that. And it's their idea that they can snatch our luck and snatch our goods. That's their idea. And it's our idea that we want to keep our stuff, right? You, you're entitled to what we have. <laughs> so anyway, there were... When I made that statement this morning, you can only have what you have and no more. Stern but unemotional. Um, it stopped them, right? And then I heard this tally of things that they use, like hooks, 
to engage our first chakra in a kind of an upset or malware programs that they use, they latch onto these things. This, this was the tally. A sense of abandonment. I use their words now. A sense of fuck up. As in my life is, you know, A, F, U. Uh, the Jesus Christ syndrome. By that I think they mean self-sacrifice. Uh, out, outweighing um, concern for one's own good. They said, she does not get her newspaper out in the morning, and Vecker is in charge of that. I, I guess that reading the newspaper in the morning uh, increases our sense of lack of safety in the world. Then they said, no heat wave. I think by that they mean that they might be able to manipulate um, sexual desire to their own ends. And the very last thing on the list that I heard this morning was no motherfucker concept. I, I hesitate to use these words. These are dwarf words. Uh, they're not personal words that are in my vocabulary. Uh, it's something on their list. And I guess that means something like one-upmanship or desire to injure other human beings. So you know that if you can clear your basal chakra of these types of issues, you're safe from the dwarves. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Y'all take care. Love you lots.